Hello everyone. I'd like to have a look today at uh, Project Browser Organization, specifically with the UK uh, BIM standard for Revit in mind. Um, I focused in on the part of the documentation that's relevant, specifically saying that the view shall be filtered by sheet name equal to a value of zero. In other words, the normal views will not show any views that are placed on a sheet. Uh, some guys prefer to handle that as work in progress or publication uh, or design and publication uh, but this is what the protocol says and secondly what we've got over here uh, is that no filter shall be applied to the sheets and that's fine so all the sheets will be shown. Now in Revit if I'm going to switch over onto here <coughs> Sometimes we have, this is an A0 page size, uh, on a 1 is to 100 scale, these views, this building doesn't fit onto one sheet. So the overriding principle of creating different files for different parts of a building would be the file size. Uh, in this case I've decided to use dependent views to represent that building on three different sheets. So what we've got is the ground level view and one right clicks on that and say duplicate view as a dependent. What that does is it sets each and every one of those dependent views with the same uh, instance properties. So they share, they all share the same instance properties. If you change an instance property on one of them, they all display the same. And what I've done after that is place it on sheets. So here we've got dependent view ground level north being placed on its sheet. All three of them were placed, all three children, these are known as children and that one is known as the parent. All three child views were placed on sheets. But note if I go to the project browser organization and I edit that, that we find that the views are filtered, filtered by sheet name equals none. So clearly what's happening is that the child views are not sheet aware and they inherit the sheet awareness if I can use that term from their parent view. One workaround that I thought about is that one could rename the parent view or just use the parent view, if I may it illustrate it this way, uh, remove the child view from the sheet and then add the, the parent view to the sheet pretending that it is a child view. As you can see that immediately removes it from the views but since it's been swapped out with one of the child views, there is still a child view floating around that isn't being recognized by the filter, by the browser organization. So this also doesn't solve the problem. So I've created an idea, a Revit idea, uh, if you want to. You can go to the uh, idea station, the Revit idea station and vote for make dependent views individually sheet aware and then one would be able to apply the UK standard properly to the functionality of having dependent views within Revit. I hope you guys have found this interesting and uh, enjoy BIM. Until next time.